the Devorah Sworn Queen. Okay, so it's a, these are the patch notes for Devorah. Fixed a bug causing her head collision to get smaller while running. I don't know how much that's going to affect her, except for I know that will change the uh, HQT alien, uh, Predator matchup a bit because she could run under the lasers. Obviously, like, that that wasn't fair like she shouldn't have been able to do that so that's fine that they uh, changed it obviously I'd like them to uh, have not done that but you know whatever it's fine spawning puddle is now plus 12 on block down from plus 22 and has reduced pushback so this is the funny thing I read that and I'm like oh that means like her puddle is gonna be plus 12 that's not bad but if you look further down the list Vortex Swarm, which is the name of her puddle in the Swarm Queen, is now plus 3 on block, down from plus 22. So, that, it means I can no longer get a guaranteed forward 1 after, because forward 1 is 12 frames. If I'm plus 3, it means anything 9 frames or faster is going to beat me, which is basically every everyone's poke now. Um, even Devorah with her her 8 frame poke would be able to beat that so you can't get that guaranteed pressure anymore but it kind of it might not even matter anymore and I'll, 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 I'll tell you why um, spawning pool now plus 20 so yeah just at 27 so that doesn't really matter um, her 4 2 is now a mid so obviously it, it, why not because it looks like it would be a mid right get the fuck out of here like I don't, I didn't care that much about that because um, she does have her four three, which is a mid. Obviously, the range isn't as good as the four two. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know what the main use of this string is gonna be now because the thing is, it's very whiff punishable, and nothing about that changed. I would never throw it out like with. For no reason like that's not how i play i don't like to use this this move like in neutral and like run up and do something like that because whatever um so as a mid now if we're looking increase the hit advantage and cancel advantage of uh yeah so they increased the, the cancel advantage of this so now you can actually combo that uh so like she does still have 50 50s um which is which is good, right? Like, especially in a game where a lot of people kind of lost them, or it got reduced. She still has it, so like, that's good. If you look at the frame data though, like, her back one, uh, her low attack, 11 startup frames. Four, three, is 17 startup frames. So there's a six frame difference in, um... The, between the the low and the uh, overhead and the low is still as it was like it's still not like the easiest thing in the world to do it's, 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 it's definitely possible but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, is what it is. and then like the overhead is clearly slower so like it is fuzzyable if you do get them in that situation um either says forward two is good for whiff punishing um, I don't really use 4-2 to whiff punish, I use 4 I use four one to whiff punish, or even like a little bit of a run-in. But the thing about that now is it's actually impossible to do a run-in, it's, 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 okay, let me, let me get, let me, let me, let me get to that. Um, so yeah, basically, the game mechanics, they changed where you have to use more stamina just to run, and you have to use more stamina to run cancel. Every time you do a run cancel, you use... 50% uh, of your full bar. So like, if you see here, she used 50% of her bar. So you, before what you could do is you could do a run cancel, like let's say, let's say, um, he's blocking. I would do something like this. And then I would do something like this, and then into this, and then I would run cancel so I could be safe. So like something like this would be like, it, it jails for the pressure, and then I could hit confirm it. And then if it if it works, then I can combo. If it doesn't, then I can be safe. But now you can't really do that anymore. Um, if I wanted to do something like that, like it's, it's not possible anymore. So if you get one cancel and then your whole cancel game is it's, it's over. So that's basically how they changed that. Like you can't do multiple cancels and you can't run in and cancel anymore. Like 
which I feel like I feel like that's gonna hurt like quite a bit. Like the fact that you can't run in and then cancel into anything. Like yeah, like I know it was, I don't know because the thing is like before like you could hit them with a down four, right? And then you can run in and start your cancel your your cancel pressure. But now like if I'm hitting you with a down four, like I can't run in and cancel pressure anymore. It's not possible, right? And that that is one of the main ways I would I would open like I would get my pressure started with Devora is I play the neutral, wait for, to get my hit with, with a down three you know, or a down four, and then I go in and start my pressure game, right? But that's not possible anymore. You can't you can't do that. So that sucks. Um, I'm not sure what the frame data changes are. Let me check this real quick. So she can still jail, like within it. But yeah, so you can't do that into that. So yeah, so you didn't. She can still jail. That. But um, yeah. The thing is, like, I can't do that string and be safe. It uh, can't really do that anymore. So like, you have to just. Try to hit confirm that, I guess. Um, yeah, so she can still gel, but she's probably still plus 12 off of the cancel. But the problem is she can't, um, she can't double cancel anymore. Although it does feel a little bit weird. And the thing is, something else they did is they actually stealth nerfed her. I, I don't know why they didn't put this in the, uh, I don't know why they didn't put this in the patch notes, but. They definitely stealth, stealth nerfed her, and they really should have mentioned that. I don't know. I don't understand like why they make these fucking stealth nerfs. Block mode. All right. So let's see here. If you look at the patch notes, it says for Swarm Queen, Vortex Swarm is now plus three on block. Infestation is now plus one on block. That that I really don't understand. By the way, her EX move. You think, you think that they'd at least make it so that, okay, like, her normal thing, the plus is gone, so let's give it to her EX version. But her EX version's even, like, slower. So, I don't know. That seems kind of weird to me. Um, so they, yeah, they, um, is that any faster? No. Okay, so th this is, this is what, what, this is what grinds my gears right here. This is what grinds my gears. Before, um, when you would combo someone in the corner, you, you would do this. This is gone. Like you can't do that anymore because they. What they did is they increased the recovery, like of of her uh, puddle, which they didn't mention in the patch notes. They didn't tell you that if they changed that, but. It's it's definitely it's definitely slower. You like you can tell like see how long it takes. Like I'm trying to block. It, there's that extra delay in there. So if I do something like this, see like it. You can tell that it takes longer. It doesn't really affect like being able to side switch or anything like that. But what it does affect. Can I even do that? I can't even do that. So yeah, the thing is, if I try to end, uh, if I try to do a puddle setup now, those don't exist anymore. Puddle setups are gone. Like they're they're 100% gone. You can't do it. If your if your opponent wants to wake up with the armor, you're gonna get blown up. Now the thing is, armor attacks in general have been uh, normalized. So like they're not gonna get as much out of it for punishing you, uh, generally. But the thing is. You're not gonna get this anymore. Even if I do a combo and I end with the uh, back one two, it's the same thing. Like you can't do it. It's I I, I think they actually decrease the uh, it's it kind of feels like they decrease the amount of uh, advantage you get. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But you definitely can't do that anymore. So like now her combos like. You have to wait a little bit before you can do that. It's, it's a little bit different, but you can't do this anymore. Like it's not a, uh, it's not a thing. 
So they complete they they completely took that away from her. A Pizzle, what up? Thanks for joining. I haven't seen you in a while. Um yeah, so that's 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 basically like Swarm Queen and now those are so the problem with Swarm Queen is that I like her this being a mid is like literally that's the least of my concerns when it comes to Swarm Queen. Like I don't care that that's not an overhead anymore. I don't care that it's a mid. What I care about is like the huge nerf to all cancels like I can't run in and cancel anymore like it's not possible so there's no there, like and if I if I ever try to like do a quick run into like uh into a uh, something like this like the only thing I can really do after is like run up and throw I uh, now now like her overhead option I could try to go for the overhead but this is negative eight so it's not exactly sa it's like pseudo safe like some people can punish it some people can't but like it really like it really does hurt um, with that I, I don't know I'm gonna have to play play it out I guess but the way that looks right now like her her whole Oki game has been definitely tampered with like she it hurt I don't know like I don't know I gotta gonna have to check that out more and see if it's still worth using or if her other variations. So the thing about uh, Venomous, once again, this is now a, a mid instead of an overhead, so there's that. But but now she can do this to combo um, for the so she can get an overhead mix up. She can get the low. But the thing is, once again, if you do this, see how there's a uh, they get pushed back. You can't just do another back one. So you have to run and do a back one. But you can only do that one time. Or wait, can you? Oh yeah, actually no, you can do it like a few times. So there is that. You have your little mix up. Um, the only the big difference they made to Venomous is this. That's her EX thing. Now instead of instead of uh, being like a massive spray that like comes out really quick and chips them and shit. Now it's just one like burst and the thing about this so what's good about it is it has armor now let me just show you uh. oh. so as you can see like the armor so like it has armor on it now which is really good because when you th when you look at it, it's uh, neutral on block, and it's so it, she has a safe armor move. This was like one of the things that Devora has been lacking the whole time was like a good armor option. So they decided to give that to Venomous. So that's really nice. Like she has a safe armor move now. So like she can do that. Now the problem that this presents though is one of the best things about Venomous was her chip out potential right if you set the opponent to block she could do something like this and that right right now that's 2.63 percent chip before you would get about 10 or 11 percent chip damage from it so her chip out potential has been significantly reduced and look at like this is a lot of pushback from the move, by the way like that is a lot of pushback so it pushes you back a lot and it's neutral on block I don't really know who has the advantage. Maybe Devora would have the advantage since she still has like her down four range after that. Right? So maybe Devora is kind of at advantage after something like that. But yeah, so she loses her chip out potential. It no longer restands either. So like if you wanted to do something like that, like to restand them, you can't. It doesn't work. Uh, something I was really hoping for was that it would like push them up high enough that you could like combo them somehow like if I did something like this but it's definitely not possible I was uh, testing it so this, this there's no way to combo off of this unless like something I don't know about but uh yeah so like it's that's good that she had that that's that's good right but then once again since the overall mechanics have changed the 
the the running has changed, which which kind of buffs zoning. And problem with uh, Venomous is she doesn't have anything to deal with zoning besides this. But like, what's that? And I, you know, I something else I noticed is like I think what they did is they decided to just nerf uh, Swarm Queen's recovery for this, but see how this this variation is still the same. So like, I could do this if I wanted to, but like, you can't really get the opportunity to do that in her other variations. So, yeah, like, there, uh, there's not many times you're gonna combo someone like this in a variation. So, so yeah, like, she had that. I'm gonna have to test that out more. Um, but that was, like, the main Venom's change. And Broodmother, Broodmother I haven't been able to, um, experiment with at all yet. So, I'm gonna just see what we got over here. Okay, so Broodmother. So that calm was now her overhead. I'm trying to see if I can combo that, but I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can. Yeah. They didn't change that at all. I was thinking, um, I thought they changed it so that if you did the EX, that you could, you don't have to spend two bars anymore, but apparently you do. Wait. It looks like you still have to spend the two bars to, like, even get the combo. Like, you can do that, but it's a really tight link. It's not really consistent. And it's also depending on the distance. Um, I was hoping that you could do this. Alright, that, yeah, that worked. I don't know how consistent it is. Maybe uh, I have to test it more. Not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, like they made it recover faster. But I don't know why it's not working off so well. Oh, there. So, okay, it's possible. Like, I think they made it a little bit easier. It's not exactly, like, super easy, but it is possible to combo off of the, uh, overhead and low now if you use the, uh, blast without having to spend, uh, a second bar. So that's a pretty significant buff for Brute Mother. She can get, a, a decent amount of damage to get 3-something percent into, like, another thing, you know? So that's not bad. But the problem with this, actually, yeah, you just have to. Hmm. Yeah, you have to be very on point, though. Like, it's not a. Uh, it's definitely something that you could fuck up. So yeah. Um. What are you guys talking about? Any new hidden brutalities with Devora? I have not checked any of that yet, but I'm hoping there is. That would be nice. Okay, so she can do that. Um, gotta get used to the timing, I guess. But uh, something, let me check. Uh, control. Let me test this. Yeah, so 
that doesn't combo. That's the thing. So it's like, hmm, I don't like that at all. And it's still a high. It's like a high that doesn't... Can't even that's that's a risk. You can get punished. So you can't really just go for it. It's kind of risky. You can it's interruptible. Let me check. Okay. So there you have it. So she has uh she has fifty fifties. Technically, but they're they're unsafe, and you have to commit to burning a bar for it. So yeah. Yeah. So like they're unsafe. You can interrupt that if you block it, and you have to burn a bar for it. But fortunately, the link is now I do think the, the link is definitely easier now you don't have to spend two bars anymore but you do have to commit to using a bar and you can get blown up for it if you uh, if your opponent gets it right and they're ready to uh, interrupt that shit let me see reversal Bug Blast. And then I think they also made this less plus. Or something. Yeah, so there's still a gap in this. You can't use that for pressure or whatever it's not. I think. But yeah, I feel like, I'm, I'm, I honestly feel like, um, I don't know, like, I guess, I guess, um, I guess Swarm Queen technically has safe 50-50s. Actually, let me check that. Let me check if, uh, the overhead cancel is even safe or not. Let's still say so. so, okay. Well, there you go. Those are the changes to Devora. Foxy just uh, invited me to a, to a match. Let me play this guy.